close your eyes and watch your breath. See if you can stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out, with as many breaths as it takes for, throughout the session. It's when you set the mind to do something like this and you begin to realize how little it is under your control. You think about the breath for a few seconds and they're off of something else. That's the way it is in the beginning. And it should be disturbing. You make up your mind to do something and think about something and yet the mind doesn't stay. It's a sign that this most important part of your life, which is your mind, is totally out of your control. You've got to bring it into control if you want to get the most good out of it. Otherwise it fritters away its energy on things that are of no consequence and things that are sometimes actually harmful. So bring it to something good. The breath is, after all, the force of life. It's what keeps the body and the mind together. It's always right here, and you can always figure out a way to make it comfortable. So try that right now. What's the most comfortable way of breathing? Stick with that once you've found it. You can try longer breathing. You can experiment. Longer breathing, shorter, fast, slow, heavy, light. Try to see what really feels good for the body right now, what feels healing for the body, too. Because the way you breathe is going to have an impact on how the blood flows throughout the body. And that's going to have an impact on your physical health and on your mental health, too. So try to latch on to this and stay here. Make this a test case. Can you tell the mind to do something and can you keep it there? And the more you're able to do this, the more you find that your mind is under your control, the more you can prevent it from doing things that you know are harmful. You can prevent it from wandering around just wasting its time. That gives more focus to your, your energy, and when the energy is more focused, it can do more good. So try to develop some focus right here. Otherwise the mind gets out of control, and when aging, illness, and death hit, your mind is out of control, then it's not your friend anymore, it's your enemy. It makes things even worse. So try to get it on your side. And the more you focus it, the more you develop its power, and the more benefit you're going to get from it.